This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. It is the 1st of January 2023. I hope you all had a great new year wherever you might have been. If you were in St. Bart's, you would have seen what I'm about to show now to the rest of us is uh, the annual gathering of the Super Yachts at St. Bart's for New Year's Eve. It's become quite the tradition now for many, many yachts to gather in St. Bart's. A lot of them are on charter. In past years, Leo DiCaprio has been there. Um, various other people chartering boats out there. I mean, I don't know why St. Bart's, but if any, anybody knows firsthand, please let us know, because I'm not quite sure why they, they, they descend on that particular place, but it definitely looks like a great place to be. Uh, some of the yachts that have been there this year, uh, Motor Yacht Rising Sun, Motor Yacht Go, Olivia O, Planet Nine, Victorious, all the heroes who saved those people who uh, were in that catamaran that sank, Project X, Akismet, Mogambo, Moonrise, just to name but a few. There are over 50 yachts uh, gathered there at uh, St. Bart's. Now, notable exceptions were all the Russian yachts. None of them were there this year, of course. Uh, Eclipse, which was in St. Bart's in past years, was in the Anchorage in Bodrum in Turkey, as was Solaris in Turkey in, near Gocek. And um, other yachts that were not in uh, St. Bart's, most yacht Nord, was actually spent the new year at the Waldorf Astoria in, in the Maldives. Uh, you can see this video footage here sent in by a subscriber. And also Motia Octopus, they were very far from St. Bart's. They were in the Antarctic for New Year, which is quite an interesting way to see in a new year. So uh, other vessels that we've talked about in the past, the Motia Pacific X, which had gone through Suez Canal with a sign saying armed guards on board, and then it switched off her AIS and gone dark after coming out the other side of the Suez Canal in the Persian Gulf. She popped up in Dubai. She switched on her AIS to signify her arrival in Dubai and then probably switched it off again. So we think she's probably in Dubai still. Um, we've got some photographs of when she arrived in Dubai. It was also sent in by a subscriber who wishes to re remain anonymous. Now we'll move on to uh, another video that has been sent to us, which was originally posted on Instagram. It's quite a funny video to look at uh, at first glance. And this is Moti Yacht Barbara. And apparently the crew are filling up the yacht with fuel cans. Um, I sent this around to a few other people as well. I, I thought it was quite amusing because normally you'll have, you know, a, a ship, a bunker barge filling up a yacht with fuel, or you'll have a big oil tankers that, that come like from uh, you know Texaco or something like that. And these were just filling with these um, cans. Now, uh, it does look like they are putting it into the main fuel, fuel lines there. However, the yachts will have separate fuel tanks depending on the type of fuel that they want to take on. Different vehicles have different types of fuel, so it could be they were filling up a different tank. Uh, but it's probable what's happened is that they've actually put the fuel into those cans to fill their tenders and are returning the fuel back to the fuel tanks because they filled up the tenders and they still have some left over. Um, it's very unlikely that they are they have been uh, reduced to filling their main fuel tanks from cans like that. But it does it does create quite a funny sight, doesn't it? Anyway, we'll move on to our main story today and this is a super yacht owner arrested in France at the request of the Ukrainian SBI. Now, um, this is some of the information here is from the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, or the OCCRP. And this is that French police arrested the former Ukraine lawmaker and businessman uh, Kostyantin Chivago at a ski resort at the request of the Ukrainian State Bureau of Investigation, or the SBI. Now he's accused of siphoning off 113 million US dollars from a bankrupt lender finance and credit bank in Ukraine and transferring the money to his foreign bank account. So Ukrainian prosecutors said the arrest came after several months of fruitful work and interaction between Ukrainian prosecutors, SBI investigators and officers from nearly 40 countries, especially the gendarmerie and police in France. Zhivago has seen several of his properties and legal entities being raided and seized. So it, it, it does seem like it's an, only a matter of time before his yacht uh, will be on the list of things to be seized, isn't it? So the Ukrainian SBI investigators are also preparing 
extradition papers to take him into custody and and uh, return him to Ukraine to face those charges. Now the details of his yacht are uh, his yacht is named interestingly Moti Yacht Z or Z depending on where you're from. Uh, which has become the symbol of uh, Russian troops fighting in Ukraine. I've they've been painting this on the side of their vehicles. Now, the yacht is a 65 meter Amels built in 2012 and had sailed from Dubai to the Maldives, where the owner, uh, Zhivago, was expected to join. However, because he was arrested in France, the yacht has returned, is currently en route back to Dubai, it is believed, um, because he obviously wasn't able to make it. Now, it should be noted that the name Z has been on the yacht since 2014, so it's unlikely to be related to what the Russian military have started to put on their, on their tanks and stuff like that. All right, so we're going to leave it here. It's been quite a quick one today, actually. Uh, just, just a quick reminder to check out our Patreon site. Uh, it's, you can find it at patreon.com slash esisman. And you'll get to see uh, exclusive videos not published on YouTube. You'll also get early access to features advert free. And you'll get to suggest topics and future videos and ask questions for upcoming Q&As. All right, if you've got any information for us about any of these stories or any other stories, you can get us through the normal way. You can get us on the About page of YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, and you can also get us on Threema. Be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell for future notifications. All right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.